Once more, senseless violence resulting in the loss of lives has found its way into the headlines. This time it happened in our own backyard. Monday's shooting at the Newcastle County Courthouse was a tragedy. And as the criminal investigation continues, questions are also being raised regarding a variety of aspects related to this case. Domestic violence, courthouse security, and gun safety. Those issues will all receive attention in the next few weeks. Working with the necessary agencies and advocates and reviewing best practices around the country, we will continue to find ways to keep our friends, families, and neighbors safe. But as we review what happened and how we can do better, it's also important that we recognize the good. In the midst of gunfire and chaos on Monday, Capitol Police officers used their instincts and their training to quickly respond. Their actions that day saved lives. The officers put themselves in harm's way to protect others, and two of them were injured in doing so. And just yesterday, when the courthouse reopened, a group of caring people gathered outside to offer free coffee and hugs to those who wanted them. We know that laws and policies and procedures are developed and enacted to protect us, to provide a greater sense of safety and security. But we also know there are people in this world intent on causing harm. When we're confronted by this evil, there's hope in knowing that heroes exist, that they walk among us and protect us. There's hope in knowing our neighbors care for us, whether accompanying a friend to a court hearing or offering solace and friendship in the wake of a loss. In the end, goodness prevails. And whether forced to come together in a moment of tragedy or inspired to come together in the days that follow, it is that sense of hope, more than any law or policy, that keeps Delaware moving forward.